Well, hello one and all. Well, I'm at it again. I'm going to do something for the first time, and I'm kind of excited about it. Now, I was looking online to see exactly how to prepare this stuff, because I wasn't sure. I've only tried this stuff once at a sushi restaurant. So, that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to... I'm going to prepare for the first time is baby octopus. Now I bought these baby octopus at our local Asian market here called Lily's, and I bought a pound of them because I'm pretty sure I'm going to like them. I hope I cooked them right and hopefully they're not too chewy by overcooking them or whatever. So the video that I watched, let me see I need a knife. The video that I watched required that you let these actually uh, uh, oh I forget the name I forgot what you call it dang it you let you let them sit in a mix for a while for about an hour and uh, the mix consists of lemon juice some tequila which I'm getting and this stuff called pick a pepper. Now I'm kind of happy that I actually met a lady at the Lily's Market who was telling me a little bit about these sauces because I, I bought a shitload of sauces. I'm hot sauces. I mean, really hot. I want hot. But she was able to tell me a little bit about some of the stuff, and she says this one was definitely the hottest, the pick a pepper. Now I tried it. It smells and tastes like a very thin barbecue sauce, but it tastes like barbecue sauce. With a slight tang, a slight hot, it's not real hot. I got this from the African Isle at Lily's. So this, lemon juice, because the lemon juice actually helps cure it and makes it makes the fibers in the meat softer where it's chewable. And tequila, tequila, lemons, and pick a pepper. So let's get started here, shall we? So this way, I plan on frying all these up. So. <clears throat> now in the video, I've, I've watched several videos, and man, I gotta stand too close to get in the frame. I'm gonna <laughs> shoot. Whoops. Move this back just a little bit. So. There you go, folks, some behind the scenes. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I was saying, the videos that I watched, uh, sometimes when you get the baby octopus, you have to clean them. In other words, you, know, you gotta take the, the little beak out and then you gotta cut the eyeballs out and then you gotta open up the insides of the heads and get out all of the gunk basically. Now, these that I bought, apparently they have been cleaned. And another video that I saw is if the tentacles are real, real curly, which we, these are not, these have been pre-tenderized. So, these are straight, which means they haven't been tenderized. They haven't been beat to death to break up the fibers even more. Just from what I watched in the video, that's what they were saying. So I guess what I need to do is I need to beat the hell out of these things for a little bit. And then I'm going to put them in my marinade. That's the word I was looking for, marinade. And then I'm going to put them in the marinade. And all these octopus, they were sitting out fresh, but they're still somewhat frozen. I think I need to trade. <laughs> This is great fun. <laughs> Bigger board here. Get all these. Now I don't know how long I'm supposed to or how much I'm supposed to beat them up so to speak so I can get them in the marinade but here we are right here. You can see. Yeah you can see. Cool. I'll just lay them out. I'm not going to do very much because I'm starting to get impatient already. 
But yeah, here's there's a lovely octopus, baby octopus. Nummy nummy, can't wait. And I'm just gonna fry them up in some olive oil. And then I already went to the store and I bought some vegetables. I bought some cauliflower, broccoli, one red onion. And I'm just gonna chop them up into like a salad type. And then I also bought some sesame seed oil, which I absolutely love, and I'm gonna sprinkle that on top once the octopus is done. Now, I guess the fun is about to begin. I don't know what else to use, so old standby rolling pin. So. thing I didn't do because apparently I don't like to prepare is I forgot to cut up my my lemons here so I'm gonna cut them up now I'm gonna cut up four lemons Whew. and squeeze them into the octopi or whatever you want to call them for plural got three right now. Actually what I think the guy did was squeeze them all into a little container and then dump the container in there. So I will be back with you guys in a little bit. Okay, I squeezed all my lemons and I put the lemon, I put the lemon juice on the octopus. Now for this pick a pepper. Good marinade. And then it calls for, I almost used this all up. Well, I'll use up the rest. It's kind of sweet. I'm not really into the hot sweet stuff, but, but this is what I got so far. I haven't put the tequila in there yet. There. I'm assuming that's how much. He really didn't tell on any of the videos or the video that I watched for this recipe for the marinade. He really didn't say exactly how much of each you're supposed to put in. I'm not sure if it matters or not. But here we go. Got to let this sit according to him for about an hour to marinate. Don't want to let it do too much longer because according to other video places that I've watched or the video sites on this subject. The acid in the lemons and even in the alcohol itself is going to start causing the octopus to cook from the inside out. That's why it doesn't take octopus long to fry up. You don't want to fry it up very long either. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fry it up in some olive oil. Like I said, use a topping with my veggies that I got. Sesame seed oil. But I'm going to let this sit for about an hour now. It's 11.22, so 12.22, give or take a few minutes. And we'll be back to fry them up. See you in a minute.